hello guys now welcome back to my channel and in this video you can see i'm actually shooting inside my kitchen because my solar panel is here and down here is my color solar generator because you can see that on my left hand here i'm holding the cable this is actually a solar cable you can see it right so i bought a cable and i want to show you how you can actually connect the cable to your solar panel and to your color solar generator if in case you don't know how you can do it okay because I've seen people making this complaint about this. And you can see this cable here is actually a 4 mm cable. Mm means millimeter. So if you want to buy a cable, you can get 2.5 mm, you can get 3 mm, you can get 4 mm. But based on the recommendation I got from where I got this solar, they said I should get a 4 mm cable. So here is a 4 mm cable. And I bought, and this is actually a 9 yard cable. And 1 yard is, um, I bought one yard for 2700 at Jabi, one plaza at Jabi. So that is nine yards or nine meters. You can call it yard or meters. So it is four mm. So I want to show you how you can actually connect this very cable to your panel here, like to extend the cable to your panel and to your cooler solar generator. And mind you, um, actually, for me, I actually didn't want to connect or to install my solar on my zinc because I want to make a video and show you guys how long it takes. To charge your cooler solar generator with your panel so that's why i bought this cable but in this video today i want to show you how you can connect this cable to your panel and to your cooler solar generator now this is how it works okay so you can see down there are my panel my cable and my cooler solar generator and the solar charger i will go closer and make you to see to have a clearer view here's the cable 4 mm cable now how do i connect this cable to my solar panel and to my cooler solar generator okay now you can see here's my cooler 1000 okay you know there are two ways you can charge this cooler 1000 either ac input that you have you use a charger and charge with lights or pv input where you can charge with solar and to charge with solar it comes with the charger here's the solar charger i know if you have this solar you should see about this charger you understand so now how do you not extend a cable how do you not add a cable so that you can extend or you can mount your panel in the zinc or maybe keep it far away or where there is sun you can see this cable here now you can see now if you look at this cable you can see i have peeled the both sides now look at the both head of the cable look at so if you buy it make sure you peel the both head of the cable peel this head also peel this other head so both the heads are peeled and now on this very charger on this solar or cooler charger here you can see if you buy it, it comes complete so you have to cut it from here you have to cut it you can see it right so i've cut mine so i will not losing it let me remove it sorry i don't have someone to help me and hold my phone so that's why i'm using one hand to do this so you will cut this into two you can see i've now dismantled the you can see it right so now how do i connect it you know if you know about electricity or if you know about it black goes to black and red goes to red red can also go to green or blue understand so uh, as is the case here so now to connect this one head will go here so i'm gonna bring this head here one head of the cable that i bought one head will go here so here is black so black will go here to black i'll connect black here and you can see that i've done the connection well, let me show you let's see because i cut this into two one side goes to this very side here to the cable one part of the charger goes to one part of the cable this one we go here right where the other part that i cut other part of the cable charger this one will go to the solar you can see it right so now you can see i'm inside my kitchen and there's no sun so I will connect it to my solar panel and show you how to connect it. I will turn my panel over. I will turn it over. And you can see I have turned my panel over. So I will come down here and pick this part. Just the way I used to connect before. So you can see from the panel here, this part here. One part. Oh, this one goes here. I will click this one here. So guys, please mind the way this is very poor video. Because nobody to help me and hold my camera. 
so I use one half of my camera so I'll put this one here and click and this one here will come here and click and guys please make sure you get a little tape a little tape to little tape the both sides here get the little tape to tape you so that the thing will not touch together and, and cause a spark understand so because I'm showing you this so I haven't gotten a little tape here but get a little tape and wrap here separately separately so that to avoid any spark understand so after here so this other part here this one we go here to the color generator so i'll now so right now or for the time being i will leave this up outside my house to go and place it under the sun though there is no sun and i think right now the weather is actually at 15 um degree celsius like no sun at all but at least it's too charge up so guys now you, actually you can see yes my setup as i said i'm not gonna mount it on my zinc just to rest it on the wall and here's the cable goes from here to my room so i want to try to plug it so that you see how it will be charging from here to my room though it's not plugged yet here's the head so i'll plug it now let me show you something So let me show you guys technology. So as I said earlier, that use a little tape to tape here so that to avoid sparkling, you know, everything, anything electronic is very dangerous. So I've taped my, you can tape it, you can see it right, for the both side. Look at here. Everything else. So as I said, the weather is very, very cold. Not, it's not hot. About uh, 28 degrees Celsius. Or let me say about um 18 degrees Celsius right now because it's very cold right here no sound but at least it will still charge yeah so from the panel here rested on my wall now I'll go to my house i want to connect it so that you see how it will charge my solar so you can see right so now to connect it i'll now bring the head here to the pv input here i'll press it inside I'll place it inside you can see it's charging you can see it right <laughs> so technology is charging so as i said you use this very cable this charger and cut it into two and connect to the cable that you will buy it's charging so if you like you can place your panel on the sun or on the zinc if you like oh uh -huh. This is on this zinc here yeah, on this roost or you know zinc anywhere if you wish to so that high catholic add an extension cable to your panel and to your color generator i think in my next video i'll show you guys how long it takes for the panel to charge the color solar generator 1000 so guys for now thank you guys and bye